West Virginia Senators Joe Manchin and Shelley Moore Capito have spoken out about the need to overturn what many property owners say is an overreach by the federal government. News 9's Chloe Mesagaitis has the details. The revised definition of the Waters of the United States rule took effect on March 20th, 2023. These include all waters which are subject to the ebb and flow of the tide. But some say this new revision has flaws and it's not good for the development of farmlands and private lands. And it pulls a whole lot of private lands under the jurisdiction of the federal regulator. Senator Shelley Moore Capito was involved in the vote to overturn WOTUS and says these problems start with the definition surrounding it. Well, to me, a navigable water is something that you can actually navigate with a boat or some kind of vessel. Uh, and what the Biden administration has done is moved that definition of navigable waters to be ephemeral streams and farm ponds. Then you're going to have to permit anytime you move your fencing, anytime you have your your uh, uh, build a building on your farm. Capito says this puts an added burden on farmers. Many farmers who have been outspoken on the topic are searching for some type of fix. We spoke to the Ohio Farm Bureau to learn more. Farmers need clarity. They need to know that if we have a heavy rain and a waterway fills up with water uh, or a ditch fills up with water, that that certainly is not under EPA jurisdiction if it happens once every once in a while. Higgins says it's concerning for farmers as it could potentially impact their livelihoods. Instead of being with lawyers all the time deciding what is and what isn't uh, under WOTUS jurisdiction, uh, farmers would much rather just be in the field doing what they do to protect their land, protect their water, and also to feed, as you mentioned, a very uh, fast-growing population, not only here in Ohio and the U.S., but across the world. The Supreme Court will be ruling on this come June, but for now that bipartisan resolution is on its way to President Joe Biden's desk, which both Capito and Higgins hope will pass. The president has said he plans a veto. Reporting for News 9, I'm Chloe Mesagaitis.